Hi everybody, it's been a while. We haven't done a video since before this whole COVID-19 thing started. And uh, what a car to kick it off again with. No, it's not a McLaren. It is not a Ferrari. It is not a Lamborghini. This is the Corvette Stingray. This is the C8, the first mid-engined Corvette ever made for production. And uh, it comes to us in this flaming orange paint and it looks great. I'd have to say in photos, it's not that attractive, but in the flesh, it's got some serious presence. It's got some great angular lines in the front. Uh, the black wheels look great. The huge vents in the rear quarter panel look fantastic. Uh, that's to cool the big small block V8 engine that turns out 495 horsepower. That's up from 455 for the old small block V8, the 6.2 liter. This is the same displacement, but the output is much more. And I have to say performance wise, it's pretty astounding. Zero to 60, it's been clocked. We haven't clocked it, but it's been clocked around 2.8, 2.9 seconds, which is like Ferrari territory. And uh, this particular model, uh, this has the Z51 performance package, which is basically a track package. And uh, <clears throat> it tops out at just shy of 80,000. So we're talking, you know, one third, one quarter the price of the exotics with the same level of performance. And uh, let's move towards the back. You know, again, it's not, you know, it's not a beautiful car in terms of overall styling, but it certainly looks like a supercar and it performs like a supercar. Uh, Corvette made the back a lot more aggressive. It no longer has that, the weird five uh, exhaust ports in the center of the vehicle, but uh, more square-like uh, quad exhaust. The taillights are a lot more aggressive. Uh, the Z51 package provides this multi-plane spoiler uh, that together with other aero elements adds quite a bit of downforce, a substantial amount of downforce. And it makes this a lot stickier on the track. It has enhanced cooling. Uh, it has bigger brakes, an inch bigger in the front. The, uh, the rotors are an inch bigger in the front, about half an inch larger in the back. And it has this uh, removable roof, which is actually fairly easy uh, to uh, deploy and put back. It's, it's all manual um, in terms of uh, removing the roof. It's very simple. It's kind of like a Miata RF, except it's not retractable. And you, you pop it off and it, it fits in the back. Um, let's take a look at the engine, which is the best part of this vehicle. It's kind of hard to do all this stuff one-handed. Door handle is under the frame of the, the side vent. Very easy. And we've got the uh, electronic door release. We will pop the back. We'll also pop the front while we're here. And there is a small block V8. It's a monster. It sounds great from behind the headrest. Uh, the balance of this vehicle, I'd have to look up the front to rear weight ratio, but I imagine the placement of this engine behind the seats uh, makes the balance uh, a lot more even. We've got a fairly large trunk. Supposedly this can hold two golf bags. I'm not 100% sure that's true. I might be able to fit mine. But that is a, uh, that is a glorious engine compartment. And it looks good from the inside too. Uh, soft close. There we go. And then let's take a look at the front. Classic uh, Corvette symbol here. Very Lamborghini Aventador uh, front edge of this uh, of this hood. And uh, that looks pretty nice. Pop it open. A fairly large, fairly sizable frunk. You can fit a couple grocery bags in there. Uh, I think you could definitely fit a uh, piece of carry-on luggage in there, no problem. So it's not a wildly impractical car. All right, let's head inside. 
great seats, carbon fiber, leather, contrast stitching, uh, adjustable bolsters, very comfortable seats. And uh, <clears throat> you've got the F1 style hexagonal type square steering wheel, which is actually very comfortable. You'd think it would be a little weird to drive with it, but it's really easy. Uh, unfortunately, no manual transmission, which is sad, but what supercar has a manual transmission anymore? All right, we're gonna fire this thing up and it is sweet. Let's turn the volume down. And this is probably the best cockpit I've seen in a Corvette. They've kind of struggled with their interiors. Uh, practical cup holder, though I would not advise tossing a big gulp in there. Very interesting linear setup uh, for the HVAC controls. They're trying to make room. There's not a lot of space in here, but this actually works pretty well. It takes some getting used to, but uh, the positioning of it's actually uh, good. Your right arm can access it all pretty quickly. Their infotainment system, crisp, clear, responsive, easy to use. Here's the gear shift. So it's all very sort of cockpit style. Uh, they've curved, um, they've made this sort of concave uh, drive mode and reverse is uh, a little convex there. So it's kind of easy to distinguish. It's certainly not more fun than, uh, than a manual transmission. Paddle shifters, of course, uh, pretty standard for a vehicle like this. I believe this is Chevy's first dual clutch transmission. It works really well. Uh, it's actually remarkably easy to drive around town very comfortable and this doesn't even have the uh, the adaptive damper suspension but it's super comfortable around town I haven't had any problems just driving around my neighborhood uh, what else do we have here it's got the Bose the upgraded Bose system which is fantastic it just sounds great um, and it's powerful enough to overcome or at least uh, drown out a little bit of the the engine when it's not at full throttle of course and then we love the orange seat belts part of the uh, I believe it's part of the Z51 track package. Oh no, no, it's a separate. You know what? It's separate. I think it's like 500 bucks for these seat belts, but a very nice touch. And again, this roof, very easy. Couple of levers here. And then you've got that, oh, let me stretch. We've got this center lever there and it basically just pops off. I don't know what the weight of it is. It feels like it might be about 25 pounds for the roof, but this is a phenomenal automobile. Nice view of the engine back there. And if you think about it, you've basically got a vehicle here for $80,000 that will match or outperform many of the supercars costing three, four times as much and looks just as good. Uh, our first choice would probably not be orange just because I think it might be a magnet for cops. Maybe gray would be a better color, but it is, it gets looks. This car is, let's step out. This car gets the looks everywhere it goes little kids hoot and holler you get thumbs up from grown-ups it is a stunning automobile and uh, we've gotten it up to triple digit speeds and it's composed throttle response is awesome this thing will drop down into lower gear just hit that paddle shifter and this thing takes off I'm not sure how you can exploit this kind of power in the suburbs of Chicago you can't uh, this is the vehicle that's built for the track. And the Z51 package certainly makes it track capable. You know, it aids in the cooling. The, the, the brakes are stronger. They cool better. Uh, the downforce is increased. It is just um, a remarkable automobile. We, we congratulate Chevy on putting this thing together. We were skeptics, but this thing is amazing. That's all for today. Enjoy.